This tutorial will show the procedure for valve adjustment on all Robin Subaru EX engines. To ensure accuracy, always perform this procedure on a cold engine. And to maintain safety during any service procedures, always pull the spark plug lead before beginning. This ensures the engine will not accidentally start when rotating to find top dead center. Next, remove the four bolts holding down the valve cover. Then carefully remove both the cover and the gasket. Inspect the gasket. If it's brittle, broken, or has material missing, replace the gasket with new. With the valve cover removed, we now want to find top dead center before checking our valve clearances. To do this, slowly rotate the engine by hand using the pull cord. Watch the outer face of the cam gear as the engine turns and look for two hash marks stamped into the gear. The marks are separated by a roll pin and timing mark on the gear face. Slowly rotate the gear until the two hash marks are in line with the level plane of the cylinder head. With the engine at top dead center, the valves are completely closed and the clearances between the valves and the rocker arms can be accurately checked. Using a feeler gauge, slide the appropriate thickness between the valve stem and the adjustment screw on the rocker arm until the feeler gauge drags. Repeat this procedure for the other valve. If the measured clearance falls outside the plus or minus spec, the valve clearance must be adjusted. Using an open end or box wrench, break loose the outer locking nut on the rocker arm adjuster. Then turn the center adjustment screw until it creates suitable drag on the feeler gauge. Choose the median spec either 53 ten thousandths of an inch or .135 millimeter. While holding the center screw, tighten the outer locking nut. When completed, rotate the crankshaft several turns by hand and recheck the valve clearances at top dead center on both valves before reinstalling the valve cover and gasket.